If you've been reading the headlines, you know that a special new tablet launched today. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the 2013 Nexus 7. So Google just announced the Nexus 7, the successor to last year's Nexus 7, which was affordable, groundbreaking, and quite a nice tablet. But we had some problems, and Google's answered those. This is the 16GB Wi-Fi model, and other than that, there's nothing to go on about about the very bright blue vibrant box. So we're going to get inside this thing here. If we can, just and pop the top off the box. We're going to set the Nexus to the side for a minute. And inside the box, I can't imagine we have too much because this is only $229 uh, starting for the 16 gigabyte model, plus tax, of course. And in here we've got pamphlets, you know, warranty and safety, and uh, some instructions on how to get started. And beneath that we have the AC adapter with a micro USB cord. So nothing too fancy there, just your standard contents. Nothing special inside the box. So we're going to put that aside and go back to the tablet. Right off the bat, it's easy to see that this thing is a lot smaller and more narrow than its, uh, its predecessor. It's easier to hold in one hand. It's... Um, it's about six millimeters narrower and it's 1.8 millimeters thinner. So it's noticeably smaller, more lightweight, and it feels really good, at least the size. Um, but let's get the plastic off really quick and look at the tablet. Maybe. <laughs> I'm having trouble with just about everything. So put that to the side. So on the front here, we have a seven inch 1920 by 1200 display, which is noticeably more dense, at least before we turn it on, than the original Nexus 7, which had a 7-inch WXGA display. And around back, we actually have a camera this time. It's a 5-megapixel camera, your horizontal Nexus branding, your SUS is, of course, the manufacturer, and you've got your power, volume rocker, and what looks to be a microphone on the long, along the right edge. Nothing on the left edge. The top has your 3.5-millimeter headphone jack and some speakers that point outwards. And along the bottom, we've also got two more little speakers that point out and your micro USB charging port. Other than that, there's really not a lot on the, the hardware, except for your 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. Inside, it has a 3950 milliamp hour battery and a 1.5 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset. So that's not the best news ever. It's not the worst. It's also not the best. It has two gigabytes of RAM, which is nice, and it comes in 16 or 32 gigabytes in storage. And it will eventually come in an LTE model, which will also work with T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon, the same model, which is really nice. It's unlocked, and it will work with any of those, which is nice and maybe a little uh, positive note for the future of Nexus and carriers and LTE, of course. But let's power the display on and uh, see what this actually looks like, because I'm interested to see if it's the, one of the problems we have with the, the original Nexus 7 is how poor the display is. Not only was it low resolution, it didn't have great color reproduction or contrast or much of anything. It was really kind of just there. All right, so we have this thing finally set up at least enough to where we can get in and look at the display. Now, it's, it's hard to tell because I don't have a Nexus 7 right here beside me, but this looks noticeably more um, vibrant than the one before. It's, the color reproduction looks pretty great, at least so far. I can't tell. These, these colors look maybe a little pale, paler than they should be. Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell without any kind of comparison right now, but the blacks look pretty dark. They don't look very dark here. There's a little uh, a difference between the bezel and the blacks on the display, but it does look a little better than what I remember the Nexus 7 to be, and we do actually have a little lag here. So it's actually trying to download a bunch of my apps, so that could be the problem. But stay tuned for more Nexus 7 coverage in the next few days in the coming weeks. And I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this has been an unboxing of the new Nexus 7.